So what happens now? It's not just Albertans watching and wondering, but people right across the country. There's a certain fascination with big change in Alberta. Electing an NDP majority is just about as big as it gets. The markets appeared unsure whether change is indeed good. Energy stocks led a triple-digit drop. But some say this is an opportunity for the party to prove it can work with industry and run a stable economy. Briar Stewart is in Edmonton. Briar. Mark, snow has blanketed part of the province after a blizzard blew in overnight, but the sweeping change to the political landscape is even more dramatic. Like many ridings in Alberta, Sherwood Park has been electing progressive conservatives for years, but that ended last night. Were you surprised to see just how badly the Tories were beaten? Flabbergasted. Yeah. This is what Alberta looked like after the last provincial election in 2012. This is how it looked like after the ballots were counted yesterday. An orange surge and an NDP majority. Amazing and, uh, and, and justified, I think. It, it was about time. Good luck to Rachel Notley. Good luck to the NDP. I think Alberta's on the, on the right road now. And the way forward includes a shaky economy, which Rachel Notley and her relatively young, inexperienced team will have to navigate. My view has always been that my job is to represent all Albertans, that, and, and job creation is a good part of that. Sitting in opposition will be the Wild Rose Party, led by Brian Jean. He won his seat in Fort McMurray, where some are concerned about what impact an NDP government could have. I feel that although there may be more social programs, that we will all suffer economically. Notley has said she will increase the corporate tax rate, but does support pipelines, even though she doesn't believe Northern Gateway will be built, and she said she won't lobby for Keystone XL. She's talked about the need for a royalty review in the oil and gas industry, but today her comments were deliberately measured, adding she has already reached out to the energy industry. While we may believe that there's a, some, some new consideration that needs to occur, that it will be done collaboratively and, uh, and uh, uh, in partnership with our key job creators in this province. But many are hopeful Notley can change the conversation around the oil sands and the environment, both here at home and abroad. So I actually think that the industry would benefit from a uh, premier who actually will put in place a credible climate change strategy. Then there's that other conversation, the one taking place in households across Canada. I think a lot of people across the country will see, you know, if even Albertans who are traditionally seen as right of center are prepared to experiment with the New Democrats, maybe they aren't so frightening after all. In other words, can a party that was once on the fringe in Alberta now run one of the driving economies of the country? Now that the Alberta NDP has been elected, Albertans won't be the only ones watching to see just how the party governs. Mark? All right, Briar, thanks so much.